So I haven't even opened this yet. So I thought I would start this uh, review outright by doing sort of an unboxing. So it came in a big box, but it's really light. Lots of packing material. All right, it's been double boxed. Now, if you get it from Amazon, it may be different. I don't know how they'll pack it. So here we are. Now let's unbox the other box. Okay, well this fills up the box really well, so it's a good sized cooler, better than I thought, bigger than I thought rather. There are two color choice options, there was a dark blue. And there was a gray. The dark blue had orange accents, and the dark gray had something a lot plainer, so I went with this one. So I haven't even opened it up yet. It's, it's really light. It's really light. It's a vinyl. Let's see. It's got a big pocket in the front, handles. Carry handle, so the top handle has a snap. Hold it together. Side handles. Pouch in the back. Nice. Oh, I like the uh, big zipper. So, easy for me to grab hold of with my bad hand. Zipper's tight, so this thing is supposed to be sort of airproof. Let's take a look at the inside. Woo! Definitely got a chemical smell right off the bat. It's got a... Carrying strap. Directions. I don't know what this stuff is right here, but I imagine it's some kind of repair material just in case. I'll get into the uh, paperwork in a minute. And a do not eat packet. Okay. So there's the inside. And just again, like I said, it's kind of got a chemical smell, but it's branded plastic, so I'm sure that will fade. So for a soft sided cooler, it's actually, look at that. So it's super thick, and that's like some kind of foam material, and this is supposed to be all waterproof. There we are. Unboxing. All right, so getting into the into the package and the instructions, this is a lubricant. It comes with directions that basically says you have to lube the zipper every once in a while, so they give you the lubricant to do that with. And then also inside the package is instructions for the use of a cooler and keeping it clean. 
So front and back page of that. Directions for the lubrication. Lubrication itself for the zipper. And the strap comes inside the cooler. A little closer look at the inside and the lid. See how thick even the lid top is. I put the lubrication on the zipper and the lubrication just seems like regular petroleum jelly so so something like a Vaseline. The walls are pretty thick. Now it's got these foam things here that I don't know if that's just for shipping or what that's for. Um, I don't know. I don't know if they are supposed to come out or not. Directions don't really say. Don't see any on the bottom. So I don't know. Overall, just just a quick review. Seems like it's quality construction. It's it smells like it smells like um, airplane glue almost. So I'm definitely going to have to I'm going to set this to air out outside overnight. So I'm just going to leave it out here on the back porch to air out overnight because I said the odor is pretty strong. Like I said I don't think that's a that's a big issue. Uh, it's a brand new manufactured product and it's plastic, so sometimes they have an odor. So we're just going to let that air air out. So here's my plan for this. So I'm getting ready to leave on a trip to Atlanta, and um, I'm only going to be gone for about three or four days. So instead of taking my big cooler, I'm just going to take this cooler and use this one. So you've probably already seen my Atlanta trip by now. By the time that I put this put this out, uh, this review, uh, you've probably already seen the trip. So you've probably seen it in some other videos. I'm not going to talk a lot about it in the other videos. Um, I'm going to do all the stuff for, for this review of this cooler uh, all in this video here. But I'm going to bring it with me. This is going to be the only cooler I'm going to use uh, for my trip to Atlanta. Like I said, it's three or four days. So a smaller cooler like this might be helpful for me. So, so we'll see how it goes. I guess the next time you see me, I will be uh, in Atlanta or close to it. Well, I've been using this cooler for a few days. It's Sunday now. I'm getting packed up and ready to go. I put this ice in on Friday. So Friday afternoon I put it in, Saturday and now Sunday. I'd say at least half the ice is still is still solid. And uh, so far this uh, cooler has worked out pretty well. I'm just going to leave this ice in here and, and see how long it takes to completely melt. Uh, just to kind of test it out. And of course the temperatures outside, the highest it's been is 70 degrees. And it's been down in the 40s at night. And I never leave my coolers in direct sunlight. So... Um, so there's that but so far I'm liking the cooler all right so continuing on with this review <clears throat> this is Tuesday morning there's the ice from Friday that I put in so still got plenty of ice in the cooler so it has been cool it hasn't been super hot today the high is probably 60 um, and it's been cool at night, so it has not been super hot days, but this ice has survived so far from Friday afternoon until Tuesday morning. I'm going to wait till this melts, and then I'll check back in with you guys again. Well, guys, this is Thursday. As you can see, all my ice is now gone. All the ice uh, melted away yesterday, so in cooler climates, this cooler had ice last just about five days. So that's actually that's actually pretty good. Like I said, I haven't used this in the heat. I haven't used it out in the desert. Uh, I'm sure it won't last as long in those type of conditions, but in cooler climates, right now it's about 60 today outside. Uh, it's it it lasted a while. Now, one thing I have wanted to see is how well 
this is actually sealed. It's supposed to have this really good zipper that's supposed to be kind of waterproof. Uh -huh. I don't think they advertise it as uh, actually being um, fully waterproof, but I still have all the water in here, so I'm just going to turn this thing upside down and see what happens. So the water's still in there, but I tell you what, I'm not getting any big gushes of water out. It's actually holding the water in there really well. So if you're using this cooler after a long hot day and it's got a lot of water in it, as long as you zip it up, if you drop it, it shouldn't make a big mess. So just to show you guys, the water's still in there. The zipper actually holds things real well, holds the water in real well. So I'm pleased with that. Well, let me just give you a few final thoughts on this Turek cooler cooler. Um, 20 can cooler, soft sided. I like how well it holds ice even in it's just cooler weather that I've tested it in. I like how well that it holds the ice. Uh, I like the fact that it has lots of handles. So I've got the handles on the sides, the handles on the top, and the carry strap handle. So I like that I have lots of options for lugging this thing around because as you can see with my uh, left hand, uh, sometimes it's hard for me to grip things. So this gives me lots of options. The inside no longer smells. That was a concern that I had was that it had a uh, very much manufactured odor to it, but the, but the smell is dissipated with, uh, with use. I both like and dislike the zipper. As you just saw, the zipper holds the water in really well, but the zipper is awful hard for me to pull with just using one hand. And I don't always, I can't always use two hands for things. But they did give me a lubrication to use with this, so hopefully with more use, the zipper will, uh, will uh, loosen up. And with uh, using the lubrication, that will also help it loosen up. So I didn't really find any use for the pockets. Although I only used it on one trip, it's nice that they have them. I could see me using this pocket here more than anything else. But all in all, uh, I've really enjoyed this cooler. So I hope you've enjoyed my review of it. Uh, I will put links to this cooler down below in, my, um, uh, in the Read More section. So just click on the read more and it'll be right down there in the de description of the video. Again, this is a Turret brand 20 can cooler. I also believe they have a bigger one that's a 30 can cooler, but the one that I got is the 20 can capacity. Well, there's my review of the cooler. Once again, I will, I will remind you all that they sent me this cooler at no charge. Uh, for my uh, honest review. So there's my honest review of it. I really like it. It works well and I think I'm going to be using it in the future. So again, thanks for watching guys. I appreciate all your comments. I appreciate all my subscribers. And I will see you guys on the next video. You guys still here? Why? The video's over. Go watch another video. Read a book. Or maybe just subscribe. Thanks for watching guys. See you on the next video.